Hello, today is another episode of How To. Today we're going to look at Microsoft Word and how to take a bunch of words you might get in the list from a text file, Excel file, put them all together in the format that you want in a few minutes. So for example, you might need a whole bunch of words, uh, last name, comma, first name. Uh, you may need just a giant list. Um, however you want to do it, they might be spaces in there and you want to just delete eliminate those spaces. So that's what we're going to talk about today. How to use that find and replace uh, spaces, especially with non-printing characters. So like you have random gaps in words and you want to get rid of those all at once and not sit there and do that manually. It has saved me hours of my life using this feature in Word called find and replace. So we're going to go over it quickly today. And I hope it helps you. Let's do it. All right. So here we go. So if you notice here on my screen, in this PDF is a varsity softball team and underneath is all their names. So a lot of times you might get names all at once and you need to make them look like first name, last name, comma, first name, last name, comma, first name, last name. So whatever, however you want to get it done, you can do that very quickly no matter how they give you the text. And Microsoft Word is really great with that. So I'm going to jump over here to Microsoft Word and I'm going to just start off with the most likely scenario is that you're going to get something in an Excel document. So let's say I take this Excel document and I just going to go ahead and copy the, the, the columns here and I want to throw them into here. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'm going to put this at a normal size text and I'm just going to do a paste, right? So I'm just going to come over here and just going to hit paste. All right. Just see what happens. All right. Now, a lot of times you might come into issues. Um, depending on how it pastes in here. In this case, it pastes pretty good and everything's looking looking good. And one of the ways to do that is by hitting this little button here at the top for showing you non-paragraph styles. So everything seemed to paste over, but there's something here that I that I don't really like, and that is the format that we have set up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on over here. I think I have this right here. So I have it like, you know, in this document as well. Just kind of copy and pasted it over. But this is how it copy and pasted over with these little squares um, and these character breaks. So basically what happened here is I have like a column. You see it here at the top. Like it says move table column. And I have this like break here. It's not really what I want. What I actually want to do, and this is a general rule when you're messing with text in, in Word, most of the time, unless, you know, you're really dealing with tables, you really want to go ahead and do paste and you want to hit this button here which says keep text only. So I just right clicked and I went to paste options and if you just hover over the paste option it'll usually show you what's about to paste. So it's really a preview of paste. So I can kind of go through each one and I can say oh that's what it would look like if I use that one. So you can kind of pick the one that you want to use. In this case I really want to use keep text only because I want to manipulate this text very quickly. Um, and I don't want to have tables and columns and all that stuff kind of messing that up. So I'm here and I'm going to come over here to this find and replace tool. Right? In this particular version of Word, it's just right under the home menu, but it's pretty much been located here for the last couple versions. So I shouldn't have a problem finding it. So you can replace anything, right? Um, including what we would call like a non-special character. So yours might look like this and you might have to click this more button so that you can see uh, what's called the special characters or the format uh, options down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off with something easy. I see this little arrow. Now I know that that's a tab, um, but you might be able to tell that by this type of spacing that's in between these words that these are probably a tab space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to say special, and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit tab. All right, now I already had something in there, so I'm going to do that again. So I just have this tab marker. And say, what do I want to replace it with? Well, I don't want a comma. I really just want to replace that tab with a single space. So that's what I did. I just added a space bar in there. And I'm going to do a quick replace all. And look at that. All done. We made 639 replacements. Boom. All right. So now if I take that off, there's all my names just kind of like perfectly in a row. First name, last name. First name, last name. All right. Now you say, but that doesn't look like this, right? What if I need to put commas in between? Well, hitting this little paragraph space helps you know what is here. This is a paragraph break in between each of these things. So if I come back up here to my file replace, I would just simply hit special and I would hit paragraph mark and I would come down to replace with comma space and I'm going to hit replace all. Boom, 639 replacements and look at that. So now I have a perfect list. 
first name, last name, um, comma, and then the next name. So um, that's pretty much how I use that feature. So that can make your life a lot easier. Now, granted, you might need the, them in different formats. You might not need it with a comma there. You know, might need more spacing and whatnot. So just look at what you have going on. One of the things I always love to do is to use that comma because you can use this comma. Let's say you had last name, first name. You can um, go ahead and uh, add that comma if there wasn't a space, you know. So, for example, let's say you get a, a situation where you get last name, comma, first name, but there's no space here, right? Like I put a space here. You can use this file and replace tool. You can simply put in here, say, look, every time you find a comma, I want you to go ahead and I want you to replace it with a comma and a space. You see? And by doing that, and I hit replace all, it then just added an extra space after every single comma. Um, so just little things like that to keep in mind that you can really help you out in formatting something in seconds and not sitting there and just like hitting the delete button, going through text manually to do it. Save you a ton of time. Uh, and get things looking right the correct way. So I hope that was helpful. If you need any other tips, please comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Have an awesome day.